I've gone through some dark times during this 30 year career. The problem, I didn't know how destructive my yearly cycle actually was. It was just a normal phase of my life. When it was warm outside, work was good. So my life was good. But when it got cold outside, I live in Canada. When it got slow, it's insane to me now that my standards back then and my good days back then would be my useless time wasting days now. I had forgotten how to push into the unknown with my life and my photography career. So many people have no idea how much better they could feel, how much better their photography life or their life in general could be. I didn't realize that my normal state back then was a bottom of the barrel life. I'd start my days at 11 or 12. I was eating like shit. I was consuming beers almost every evening. I was snacking on M&Ms as food and I wasn't very social in real life or online. Daily, I'd feel like garbage and I would just sit and binge watch episodes on Netflix. Although I had an amazing portfolio, I was just sitting and waiting for work. I had no idea what I should be doing day to day. Thank God I managed to snap myself out of it and I learned a lot along the way. So here's some free photography career advice for you, the smart one. The words, by the way, that I share here aren't for everybody and I'm more than okay with that. The information that a pro photographer takes the time to share with you is invaluable. Whether you're in a studio assisting or you're right there watching me. If your attention span can't handle it or if you've only trained your mind with short sugar hits, this good for you information that I like to share on my channel, it's not gonna taste right. But for some of you, this no bullshit approach of the way that I deliver photography information, you're gonna find refreshing. My goal here is to share the things that I've learned during this three decade journey. Some of the things that I wanna talk about isn't sexy for the average YouTube viewer, which is why I don't care about the average YouTube viewer. I care about you, the one that's taking the time to watch this right now and sees the value in listening. Do you need to be stimulated by quick cuts and repetitive b-roll by the way I've tried that and many of my smarter viewers said you don't need to trick us with tactics that other photographers use to hook us I've been told that I have great information so I've been focused on delivering just that helpful true information some of the truths that I talk about here they're gonna piss you off, but it's super simple to go watch someone else. Go watch someone that gives you those short dopamine hits rather than watching me. Someone that puts thoughts in your head, someone that challenges you, someone that makes you think, or God forbid, makes you wanna act. Now, back to my story. The freedom of freelancing is an excuse to adopt self-destructive habits. I barely did any of the things necessary to run a business. Even after decades doing it, I never actually learned the skills that I needed to run a successful photography business. There wasn't photography business class when I was in photography school and I didn't know what I didn't know. I didn't take any business courses on my own or talk to any photographers about how they ran their businesses. And because of that, my business never really blew up. I had some good years, but way too many bad ones. During lockdown, I hit rock bottom. At night, I'd spend five to seven hours playing Call of Duty. My son was online sometimes and I did play with him, but most of the time I was just streaming on Twitch to five people. I was numbing my mind to escape the mindset, the business knowledge, and the challenges that I was hiding from. I realized that I was embracing the suck too much for too long. The difference between video games and real life is pretty simple. It's fake risk in a video game versus real risk, real pain, real fear, and the real sacrifices of real life. All the things that allow pleasure, love, and results exist in a video game. You can fail without repercussion. You die and you respawn. In life, you can't hide behind your screen and hope that there won't be any kind of failure. Failure in life is necessary to grow and progress like you do in a video game. But with gaming, we trick our minds into thinking that we're actually making progress. We level up, we acquire new skills, we acquire a play style, we unlock guns and operators, and it triggers this reward system in our brain. We get satisfaction. We enjoy the comfort and security of diving into the fake unknown of a video game that gives us this false reward. It's all just backwards. I was doing the same thing in my life. I was hiding from the necessary failures and I'd forgotten how to push into the unknown. Pushing into the unknown is how I started my photography career. Pushing into the unknown, that brings true progress and rewards in your life. I was getting my rewards from video games and suffering like an artist rather than pursuing my photography goals and actually making progress. The sleeping late, processed food, and gaming binges kept me in a tight dopamine loop after 
COVID. So when things finally opened up, I didn't really feel the need to pursue anything greater. I hadn't set any goals or made any plans. Everything was fine because I let it be fine. My life sucked because I let it suck. My career wasn't going anywhere because I wasn't making it go anywhere. I've learned so much from the creators that I find here on YouTube and I've curated a beautiful YouTube feed. Someone that I've learned so much from in the past weeks is Dan Ko. These are just a few of his quotes that absolutely shook me last week. I added the parts that related to me and my photography career. Your life sucks because of the thousands of small choices that you've made over the past year. You haven't made the choices that'll lead to a successful photography career. You haven't made the choices that lead to fulfilling relationships. You haven't made the choices that lead to a healthy and aesthetic body. But Cardi, what about my genetics or the city that I was born? My job that doesn't give me time to shoot. Yes. Those things do play a role, but you're just making another choice right now to close your mind off to the potential choice that you could be making to get yourself out of your current situation so you can free up more time to be creative with your camera. Move locations if you have to. Do whatever you need to do in order to make better choices for your life. Choices come after choices. You don't just make the choice to quit your job without making the prior choices that allow you to do just that. Choose to get better with your camera. Choose to get better at business. Choose to make a plan. The ability to choose cannot be taken away or even given away. It can only be forgotten. And remember this, you're not a special case. There's thousands of people, if not hundreds of thousands or millions that have been in the same situation that you've been and have made the choices that have allowed them to get out of that situation. I've been in situations, by the way, where I felt absolutely fucked and I lived. Going through those experiences, I learn and I've learned how to reduce the amount of times that I find myself up against the wall. Because I've been in that situation before, I have the foresight to see those situations coming before they happen. And of course, naturally, I've set myself up so I'm not up against the wall in the first place. What I'm saying to you today, the struggling photographer, is there is a way out of whatever it is that you're struggling with. If your business isn't growing, that's your fault. You haven't zoomed out or developed the skills to be able to register what the problem is with your photography business so you can solve it and continue growing. You don't know what you don't know. Make the effort to change that. If you're not quite at the part where you're ready to start your photography business, your focus should be on the work. The work is the most important part of any photography business. So set time to learn how to get better at the things you need in order to grow. Pushing into the unknown will make your work better and pushing into the unknown will make your photography business definitely better. We learn by doing the things that are difficult more than once and failure is how we really learn. We have to push into the unknown in order to discover the skill or the mindset or whatever that allows us to reach that next mental place and then from that higher level of mind we can come back to that situation and we can solve any problem. Einstein said you can't solve a problem from the same mind that created it and Picasso said when I run it a red I use blue. So how do you unfuck your photography life or unfuck your life in general? Increasing our mental capacity comes first. Increasing our mental capacity comes from pushing into the unknown. We have to cultivate new skills. We have to understand new knowledge and we have to get out of the comfortable routine and daily cycle that we dig ourselves into. The quality of your life one year from now will depend on the little choices that you make every single day. And by the way, you don't have to make perfect choices. It's actually better if you make mistakes. The greatest risk is no risk at all. How else would you fail without failure? Improvement is literally impossible without failure. So fail big. It's how we learn photography. Big fails mean bigger lessons, bigger growth, new skills, and a better you next time. Without failure, there can't be improvement. And without continually striving for improvement, there's no aim or direction in your life. And without aim or direction in your life, everything becomes meaningless. Apply this to your photography, your photography business. Apply this to everything. By the way, I know it's hard to juggle photography as a side hustle, which is why I believe in going all in. I've been a pro photographer for three decades and I still have to make the time to create new work. The personal work that we shoot for ourselves has the potential to be the commercial work that we end up doing for other people if we do it right. If you're having a hard time finding time to shoot, you should probably watch this one next where I get into seven ways that you can use to reclaim your time to make photographs. And that's what we all need, more time. Thanks for your time watching this one and I'll see you on that video.